What's up guys? What we're actually going to be doing in this video is replacing a DX9100 uh, with a FAC DX adapter. Uh, you can see it here, what these are. They are designed to actually take the place of a DX9100 and fit directly onto the back panel. You can see the plugs there. I had done a previous video where I talked a little bit about those. Now, uh, this particular DX is the last remaining N2 device building in this building. Uh, so, uh, there have been a couple of issues and with some additional changes to the building, we have just decided to replace this and uh, instead of having to have a device, an NAE, just for this one single DX, we can eliminate the need for that and have the FAC adapter pulled straight into the back net trunk. That's what we're going to be doing in this video. Removal of the DX is very straightforward. Of course, first thing you want to do is shut off the power. Simply take your screwdriver and down in here is a straight bit screw that locks the DX onto the back panel. All you have to do is to loosen it and it will actually start to separate the DX from the back panel. Once you get it loosened up, the DX will then Basically, you will rotate it slightly to the left and then just lift it directly off of the back panel, just like so. To get the FAC mounted, you're going to need to loosen the bottom screws on the DX back panel and then remove the top screws to be able to refit them once you get the FAC plugged in. And you can see here, I'm not going to be able to do this with one hand, so uh, I'll give it a try, but I do believe I'm just going to have to pause the video to be able to get this plugged in. This panel is a little bit tight for where I need to be, especially working with just one hand. But you can see there, we get it slid in. I want it setting over the screws on both sides. And once I get that done, what I will then do is rock the FAC in position, making sure that the plugs get seated properly. Now if I look inside here, you can see that my plugs are properly seated into the DX back panel. Uh, if you do not get those plugs properly seated, it will not function. I've got the screws still just sitting there, and with it plugged in properly, I can now reinstall the top screws. Something that you need to be aware of on the uh, FAC DX9100 adapters is that when you write your programming that uh, you need to double check the assignment, the point assignment in CCT. Uh, these things do not necessarily default and assign the points exactly where they need to be. In other words, uh, you know, an output one may not necessarily be output one. Uh, on uh, the way that it's configured. So you will actually have to modify those inputs and outputs slightly. It is something that we had to do with this one. Um, I did not show you any programming in this video. I've got other videos on the channel to where I talk a little bit about programming in CCT. It's pretty straightforward. So be sure to check those out. But just remember that the point assignment that will be done in CCT by default may not match the original DX programming. You know, that's just something that you're going to have to uh, check and correct whenever necessary. Anyways, guys, hope you liked the video. Um, you know, it, it's just a basic installation video for these things. Uh, the FAC adapters do make changing from a DX9100 to a newer device much simpler. Uh, you know, it minimizes the wiring, as you just seen. I mean, it's just basically plug and play and the rest of software. Uh, very little wiring. Basically all I had to do with this one is just run a power wire down and done. That was it. But guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Be sure to subscribe. Let me hear from you. Uh, you know, if you have any questions, leave those down in the comments below. Also check out the links down below. Uh, though, you know, anything that you go through those links, it kind of helps to go to support the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.